In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your own designs to a baseball jersey, create an animation, and also add a custom background to your design. To begin with, download the files from Etsy or clothingmockups.com. Link in the description. We're going to do 90% of the work in Photoshop. You can alternatively use the free alternative called Photop before we move into 3D. This is a beginner friendly tutorial, so you don't need any 3D design experience to get the results you saw at the start. We'll go through it step by step, so let's jump in. After downloading the files, open Photoshop. Next, we're gonna drag and drop the Add Your Design PNG into Photoshop. So when the file opens up, you'll have the image of the PNG. Um, and it's really important that we lock layer one. So we go to layer one and press this lock icon. This is so it doesn't move. If it moves, it will mess up the graphics in the 3D model. So let's add a design. I'm gonna go with a classic American design uh, with blue, uh, a blue jersey with uh, red stripes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna find a reference image. And we'll, for example, uh, take this one here and I will just press V, the shortcut, and then press Enter. As you can see, it's the screenshot here in the Layers panel. So I'm gonna press I, we'll go to the eyedropper here, and click on the color that I want. Then I will hide the uh, layer here, and then go to Layer 1, and press W to select the pieces that I want in blue. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do is go down to this layer icon here and add a new layer. I'm gonna drag it to the top and then I'm going to select the brush icon, which is B shortcut, right click on my mouse and increase the size. And then I'm gonna color in the jersey to the blue color. I'm not entirely happy with that blue color, so I'm gonna press I again and I'm gonna change it here to a lighter color. I'm gonna press okay. I'm gonna test the shortcut Alt and Backspace to change it quickly. I'm gonna press uh, Command D on a Mac to deselect. Then I'm gonna press W again, which is for the wand, and go back to the layer one and select the sleeves, which I would like to be red. So I'm gonna Click here again and bring that forward so it's visible and press I to get the eyedropper. And then I'm gonna select the red color and I'm gonna then hide this layer and go back to layer two and press B or the brush tool to color in the sleeves. This here is the button, I'm gonna keep that white. I'm gonna press Command and D again. I think it might be Control D on a PC to deselect. And then I'm going to click the reg uh, rectangular marquee tool here, which is also M on the shortcut. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna create a thin line here. In fact, I'm gonna go across both of the sleeves and I'm gonna make that white. I'm gonna make sure that white is the dominant color here and press B. I'm gonna do a white line here. So this will come up in my design as well. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna start adding logos. Uh, if you have a, a local sports team that you're making your design for, you can start adding your logos um, here. I'm gonna get some logos that I have from a previous design and I'm gonna just quickly drag and drop them into the design.
So when it comes to saving, I'm going to go to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG, and I'm going to save it as the same name as my original file. It's important that it goes in the same folder as the uh, 3D model, otherwise the graphics won't load. So press Save, and I'm going to press Replace. And then we're going to go into Blender. Blender is a completely free 3D software that we are going to use to add our 2D design to the 3D model. To download it, you go to download at blender.org and download Blender. Once you've downloaded it, we'll open up the file in 3D. So open up Blender and we will drag and drop the baseball jersey Blender file into Blender and press open. It should automatically uh, load up your graphics. And as I can see here, I completely forgot to add the stitching, so it's in, it's in the white color. So if this is your first time using Blender, uh, I'm going to quickly go through. If you press spacebar, you can preview the animation. If you come up here, if you can't see your graphics, it could be because you have it on this render setting. So if you click here, it will show your colors. If you still don't see your colors, then I will show you afterwards how to fix that. But if you've saved it in the same name, it shouldn't be a problem. So if you want to, you can also check how it looks like when you're going to take an image. You can drag across here to preview where you want the image. And say, for example, you want to take this image, you go to render, render image. And then once it's loaded, you can go to image, save as, and I'm going to call it uh, render one. and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Press save. I can also make an animation. To do that, I have to go to this icon here called the output properties, and then make sure that we save it somewhere that we can find it. In my case, I'm going to save it on my desktop, and I'm going to call it Annie one I'm going to press accept. And again, we just go to render, render animation, and now what it will do, it will render 250 frames at the bottom here. And once it's complete, you'll have a animation you can use for social media or for sending to the club that you designed for or for whatever you'd like. So I'll get back to you once it's finished with the results. So if your textures aren't loading properly, uh, what you need to do is select the baseball jersey and then go to... Um, shading and we have to make sure that the 2d file the png is saved in the same folder as the 3d the 3d file once that's done we're going to go to open in image texture locate the folder and uh, find the find the file and open image and that should solve your issue if we want to change the background color we click on the background and then we click on the materials tab make sure background is selected and then we can change the color by selecting the color that we want in this case i'm going to go with blue we have to make sure that we have this render setting set on the viewport shading and then we go to the emission and press zero so that is how you quickly change the color so if you want to add a custom image to your background, select the background, make sure the materials tab and go to the base color here and click on image texture. Then we're going to go to open and I've saved an image in the same folder called blue lightning. I'm going to open that and then you have your image. If you want to scale it down, you make sure you select the, um, the background press S on your keyboard and drag across until you have a size that you think works for your image. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like and a subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Um, yeah, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.